Hey guys and girls, I'm Link123 and welcome back to my let's play of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with Texture Corruptments. In the last episode we beat in the forest temple boss called Phantom Ganon and then we uh, stopped this rolling Goron from uh, rolling his ass off and uh, basically that went into a situation when we got uh, the fire tonic, the Goron tonic uh, whatever you want to call it. Now we're standing in uh, the Death Mountain Crater and we are about to go into the Fire Temple. You can see the great looking textures around me. It should indicate that this is a giant mountain or the crater at least. Um, but basically right now it's just a fence. Awesome. Right now we are going to see a little cutscene where we are getting uh, the the second warp song in the game which is the I I don't remember the exact name but it is a warp uh, so song that allows us to teleport to this crater anyways uh, it's pretty funny that this chic she looks pretty normal even though uh, her her middle body there it looks pretty weird misplaced at least <laughs> and the text is also uh, stupid Fucked up. All right, let's see if I can remember this because I don't even get it. All right, all right. Oh. All right, that was pretty weird because I didn't remember the actual song. But it, while you are playing these notes, you can see like if it's a a, a, a yellow a yellow button or a blue button. Um, really really tiny textures allows you to see that so sometimes the game helps you a little bit have you seen my face I look like I'm I really don't give a fuck about this damn song and this chick she she looks pretty normal uh, okay I look really bored of this cutscene it's pretty funny I really love when Link's eyes is just getting replaced by other other faces because right now I'm just looking really bored right I don't even want to be here. I think it's fa- Yeah, man, I'm bored Link. Have you seen- <laughs> Okay, this looks so funny, guys and girls. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, the warp song allows us to teleport to this place. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go into uh, Link's temple. See my eyes there. It should probably be the actual eyes that the cutscene should allow us to be, or at least allow us to use. All right, uh, this is some kind of a. It looks like something from Tomb Raider or stuff like that. But uh, nope. All right, this is fucking creepy, man. <laughs> my eyes there on the floor everywhere, and the the little um, pre-rendered background uh, of the fire temple is basically just a texture from Goron City so uh, yeah and this is the fire temple at least that kind of text is not replaced by anything uh, but you can clearly see it's like the Goron temple you can see dancing Gorons in there on these uh, weird ass pedestal things looks pretty nice though alright let's go into the first room and see uh, what uh, Alright, Darunia always looks so fresh, man. Uh, in previous epi episodes of this Let's Play, I can clearly see the game loves Darunia because sometimes he appears with fire on his eyes, sometimes he appears to be fucking awesome, and other times just the, the corrupted textures fits really well on his great looking body. Anyways, let's just... Uh, <laughs> Be done with this damn cutscene, and then we can continue uh, beating this temple. As I all also said in the previous episodes, I really do love the fire temple for some reason. It have always been one of my favorite temples, uh, except for the spiritual temple in Ocarina of Time. At least I think the actual Zelda series got a lot of great temples. Not the water temple uh, franchise. I'm not a huge fan of that because. That those temples is really fucking hard in some games not the water temple in Ocarina of Time But I think it begins to be a bit boring because you need to do a lot of stuff And this is is this a wrong way? No, I think it's a fuck take. No, no shit 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 um, Yeah, as I said before uh, the fire temple is a great temple because 
You need to do a lot of stuff. You actually rescues Gorons uh, so they don't die in this fucking hot ass temple. And that's really nice because I think uh, having this mission to save a whole city is so fantastic. I love that. Anyways, you don't even you don't need to talk with these damn Gorons. Uh, usually, all right. Um, let's just take a look at the Link's face. What up? I look like fucking a, like a manga version of Link, like from Naruto or something. But anyways, uh, yeah, you don't need to talk with these Gorons. Uh, I used to think that I should do that, uh, like, first time I was playing this game and all, also uh, in the future years. But uh, nope, it begins to be a bit boring um, if you need to talk with them because you don't, you can't just skip their, uh, the text box and stuff like that. And that's... Nobody likes that, right? Um, okay, uh, these, um... Yes, we got the... We got the fairy. Okay, I look really happy for this. Nice, I love that. I got a boot. Uh... I think... Alright, the inventory is... Alright, easy to see what it is. But, um... Yeah, I can't even... I can't... I can't see myself in this uh, in this damn let's play because it's really hard even though if I've been playing the game many times but figuring out the actual um, the inventory wow it's it's dangerous man it's dangerous all right this uh, this is <laughs> all right a lot of bumps is going on on the in the lava here so let's just watch ourselves and all right that's that one is falling down I'm really happy for this is not like Master Quest or something because in Master Quest I think all right uh, Master Quest is not a fucking hard version of Ocarina of Time. Let's let's get that clear, but uh, Master Quest can turn the at least the temples into something that can be pretty frustrating. If you don't know what Master Quest is, it's a version of Ocarina of Time for the GameCube uh, that allows you to play uh, a really different version of uh, Ocarina of Time if you're getting bored of um, the <coughs> of the original gameplay of uh, Ocarina of Time then you can turn uh, your game into a harder one with enemies that basically uh, takes more damage and stuff like that blah, 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 blah. Um, I think the 3DS version of the Master Quest is way better than the GameCube version, uh, at least in the actual gameplay. I love the textures in uh, the GameCube version because it's the original ones and blah blah blah, I love that. But uh, in the 3DS version you can actually uh, see a reversed uh, world, uh, the whole world, the whole um, world of Ocarina of Time is basically reversed. So uh, you will experience a whole nother gameplay here, and that's pretty. It's pretty nice to play that because it it adds something to your game at least a little bit, even though the the game itself is not that hard. For fuck's sake, I think all of these damn blocks they are like falling down in that lava. There's one of them that like it it uh, flies up instead of uh, going down, but. For God's sake, it, it won't help us. Maybe we will get a fucking fairy. Maybe we will get something else. I don't even know. Mm. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think that was uh, the right thing to do. Mm. How cool. How cool. <laughs> I, I, it's pretty funny to see all of these Gorons that change textures from time to time. Uh, it's fantastic. I, I do love that. And these keys textures looks really nice. It looks like some kind from Wind Waker or something like that. At least a kind of a shell shaded version of the original one. And that's pretty nice. Even though, let's go to the shout out section. Because in each episode from, uh, from some past episodes, I began to like do these kind of shout outs. Because I do love that. I like to be the good guy in this. I like to do like the good old YouTubers does, like no one, but it's nice, I, I do love that and I appreciate you guys and girls writing some nice stuff to me in the comment section on each video and you will get a shout out, extreme stuff here. Um, basically uh, Melissa, my good old fan from the, for this uh, let's play at least, she, uh, she really uh, shows me some interest 
for this whole let's play, and that's really nice. So thank you so much, Melissa, for uh, commenting on the last video. It means a lot, and I do love my fans. Anyways, the next one is going to be uh, uh, <laughs> the same old profile called uh, Hi. He he's all he also loves my videos. He basically loves this uh, let's play, and yeah, he's just a nice guy. He types whatever he wants, seems like, and he just likes uh, yeah commenting on my videos. The a great thing there. Um, and before we go to the next shout out, we're just going to uh, wait here because I I do love uh, flying in this damn temple. It it's just nice to see Link flies, right? It's uh, it's pretty extreme that you got like fucking uh, platforms that flies up and can do not much, but you know what I mean. It's it's pretty cool. All right. Um. The next part here is going to be a bit more frustrating uh, than usual, or at least a little bit, because you actually need to throw a bump uh, pretty precisely, and then you ne also need to move this block, and you're just getting really tired of uh, doing these things, because if you're missing out the bumps, and then you need to find other bumps, and you know what I mean, it can be a frustrating job doing the same old thing, over and over and over again. Nobody likes that. Even though my f my most hated boss in Ocarina of Time is finally uh, defeated, called uh, Phantom Ganon, I do not hope that I'm getting uh, more hard times uh, beating other bosses uh, like uh, probably Morpha, the Water Arm in the Water Temple, so stuff like that, because some of these damn bosses can be pretty frustrating. Especially Phantom Ganon because he can turn into a rocket. We saw that in the previous episode and he was he was about to kill me. At least he took one of my fairies and that's some damn shit. But the final uh, shout out is going to be uh, about a channel called Rat1993. Uh, uh, he sounds like a nice guy. He's he talks about it. He's just started YouTubing. He started out doing uh, some covers and stuff like that. He likes to play, I think it's um, a guitar or something like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Rat. Uh, but uh, he uh, he seems like a nice guy. He don't have the exactly good hardware, as he said in the comment section. But uh, yeah, let's show some fan love, and uh, I, I I understand his situation, man, because I was at his place too. You feel me? Uh, it it was like pretty hard at the time when I started out doing YouTube, because I didn't have a lot of money. I didn't want to. I didn't want to like invest in my whole career because I didn't knew how big I would be. But right now I'm turning into. I'm turning bigger and bigger and bigger, and that's that's just the whole meaning of it. But I really hope that I can get more subscribers fast because I I do mean I put a lot of effort into this whole career and I don't get that much of attention from other YouTubers and other channels uh, that that I uh, basically would or expect it but I don't want to brag too much but you know what I mean make sure to sh share my channel and stuff like that with your friends because it it means a lot to me and I just love you guys and girls if you're doing so. This room looks really weird even though because... And that Goran, he looks fucked up. Um, but this room's texture, I don't know what it should be there, but it looks pretty weird. It looks like something rotten or something, like rusty. Yeah, it's rusty. Hmm. Also, if you take a look of my C buttons, it's pretty weird to take a look of these because some of them are like brick textures, some of them are just like shit. Some of them, it's just, yeah, I don't even know. It looks like some kind of a, a hand or something for one of the statues around the whole temple, you know. But I don't want to talk about that because I, I have no like effects about this. Alright, uh, my key count went from 2 to like 0, and I don't even know if I have any more uh, keys. I'm basically running the game on my um, on my memory, uh, I don't even remember when I need any more keys, basically. Okay, I got another key, that's nice, I appreciate that. 
Alright, Link's uh, body here, it's pretty boring. There's a lot of black textures, I think. Black textures might just be when it's a transparent background, you know what I mean? I have said that before. Every time uh, uh, some kind of uh, a trans... <laughs> this is some shit, this is some shit. When a transparent texture like... Uh, for example, the, the floor here... Uh, it's a transparent background when it's when it should be like on the walls or something. I think it turns out to be uh, black because you can show like air instead of just uh, yeah black screen for some reason. Okay, this uh, this damn uh, slog I think it's called on this weird as English uh, language. Uh, the <laughs> that slog looks pretty weird. Oh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's just do what we need to do here. Uh, what we needed to do here is basically just press this button, and then we will rescue one of the other Gorons. There's a lot of <laughs> a lot of Gorons in this temple, um, and then we will also have a short cut short cut uh, to the upper uh, part of the temple, which is pretty nice because I love shortcuts. The temple is pretty pretty long if you just need to do everything over and over and again if you keep on dying because nobody likes that, right? Alright, you can see navy on the sides here when I'm climbing and that's that's just frustrating, right? Oh for fuck's sake I remember one time I've been uh, killing this slug and the slug was falling down there. Yeah, down there. And it just Glitch in like midair because Ocarina of Time is like made so uh, it has a loading time when you're climbing down somewhere. Also, if you're just falling, but if you're entering another area, it got a load zone. So the slug was just uh, sitting or it was just landed on this load zone because it couldn't fall into the other load zone for some kind of weird ass reason. And that was pretty funny, I just love to mention that, all these great ass memories with Ocarina of Time. Um, another thing is also in one of my- oh fuck, I, I don't want to talk with this damn Goron. But as I was trying to say, in uh, oh, for some time ago I um, I never- well, how can he just walk straight out? He would, he would fall down man! But in one of my previous videos, not a part of this let's play, I promised you guys and girls a, a video series with the video game memories with the different vintage old games like Ocarina of Time and stuff like that. Uh, and that's pretty nice. Uh, I do love that, but uh, I really don't feel I have the time, you know what I mean? Uh, I would love to do a lot of these kind of videos, but I don't think you guys and girls will show enough attention to it um, Because I can tell you a lot of about a lot about when I was playing Ocarina of Time first time, but Maybe you guys and girls don't care about yet that because you got your own memories and stuff like that, but it could be pretty funny to talk about but you know what I mean it can also be just frustrating to hear about my Different memories from from a random game, right? But make sure to write that in the comment section what you think about uh, my idea about my video video game memories. I also got some for Time Splitters, Grand Theft Auto, a lot of different uh, gr games for different games or different consoles from different times too, and that's pretty nice. For fuck's sake, kill this damn bat! Oh, come on, what's some shit? Awesome shit! Alright, where does this store lead us to? Alright, uh, a, a chest. I don't actually remember what I'm getting in this chest. I suppose it's like a, a compass? Or maybe... Yeah, okay, it is a compass. IGN found the compass. Awesome. Let's go out here. It looks so... So weird, man, when you're just getting the compass, because having the compass just lets you see the the different arrows from the from the map, but you can't see anything else. You can't see where you actually are on the map. You can just see <laughs> a red and a yellow fucking arrow, and nobody cares about them, right? Um. Okay, I was lucky there. Oh, for what? What hit me? Okay, I got one key. I got one key. 
Nice. Soon we will go to the first mini boss, and that's pretty nice because those mini bosses, they are free. Uh, <laughs> for some reason, uh, they are really awesome. I love these. Uh, I love these kind of mini bosses because they got a great uh, like fight to kill them. It, it takes a great fight to kill a great mini boss, and this mini boss is fucking great. It's not the greatest. I think the greatest mini boss in the actual game is. The uh, the iron knuckles because iron knuckles has a great like what can I call it? Um, it has a great fight, all at all. It, you just needs to do a lot of stuff, and he he actually follows you uh, around the whole room, and that's just nice, right? I love having this uh, yeah, like fear in me, and you're just getting scared of it, of his sounds. He just like he sounds like, mm, and he he's uh, really angry for some reason. Because, yeah, I don't know why. Um, right now, you just need to fucking kill this fucking dude. Uh, you can take your arrows, you can uh, do a lot of things, but I just prefer jump slashing him uh, at the final moment when he turns around because... Holy shit, he looks fancy here! Uh, when you jump slash him, he can... Uh, yeah, he dies faster for some reason. Uh, I think jump slashing is just a powerful ass attack. <laughs> I really love the colors uh, because it's basically not a changed color. Uh, he usually also he's probably green in in real time uh, or originally, but uh, he uh, he's just like totally. Uh, what can I call it? His uh, his situation is extreme. You feel me? Uh, how stupid am I allowed to be? His situation is just pulled up to max, you feel me? It, it blue and red and green. It was really neon looking colors. Really nice. Wow. Okay, you didn't saw that. Let's uh, let's just go up. Come on. That uh, mini boss, it's pretty fast. I I just realized that I killed it in like 1 minute. <laughs> My fault. But uh, yeah, I've been playing that mini boss for a lot of time. I re because I really do love fighting these. It it's a great thing to 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 fight with. I think at least it's better than a fucking Darkling because Darkling he can be pain in the ass if you're just having the master sword and then you need to kill him over and over again because you can't hit him because he can use a sword, he can use a fucking shield, he can use everything. At least he can he can't use uh, the megaton hammer and Din's fire. I think those weapons might just be the best and most powerful um weapons against this guy. All right. Uh yeah. This is basically the worst part of the whole table. After several tries uh, to get the Megaton Hammer, I decided to cut a little bit in this video. You don't understand how many times I've been falling down here. Left or right, it doesn't matter. I really do hate this place, but I think I got it right now. Extreme. I don't care if I'm dying. I just want the Megaton Hammer. It's not the coolest weapon in Ocarina of Time, but it's a great weapon to get a great attack damage, or, or a, at least a great count of uh, damage to any kind of enemies. We do love that. We love to be overpowered. And now we should be ready to go. Okay, we got two Megatons Hammer for some reason. Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Oh, shit. Okay, that that effect looks pretty cool. It was uh, just a, like a magic jar or something. The word jar looks sounds really great because, yeah, here in Denmark, jar is not something that we usually would say. It sounds really weird to us. Where are we? Oh, for God's sake, this room. I gotta end the episode here just to be, just to be like safe, you know? Damn. Be safe. Anyways, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this uh, this video here because uh, we did a lot of uh, we did a lot of progress. We do love the fire temple. I hope you do too. Uh, make sure to write in the comments what you think about what what your favorite temple is from Ocarina of Time at least. 
make sure to write some great support uh, to my videos, to my future videos. Maybe you will get a shout out. And then I hope I will see you in the next video. Make sure to throw a like after this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, just have a nice day. See ya, guys and girls. Bye.